For ESA astronaut André Kuipers, the final countdown has started. On the 19th of April, he's flying to the ISS as a flight engineer on the Dutch-sponsored Delta mission, together with cosmonaut Gennady Padolka and NASA astronaut Mike Fink. The three spacemen have all passed their final exams. After the ceremonial farewell reception in the Star City Training Center, they are now in their final days of preparation, before blasting off to the ISS. The brand new and tailor-made spacesuits of the astronauts were tested for leaks once more by inflating them. The suits were kept on during the final exams inside the Soyuz. These take almost all day and place the crew before every thinkable problem or emergency. This can be anything from a malfunctioning radio to a small fire or a leak in the capsule. Immediately afterwards, the examination board evaluated their performance. All three passed the exam flawlessly. <laughs> Since October last year, a crew of two astronauts, Russian cosmonaut Alexander Kalieri and NASA astronaut Michael Fole, have been the permanent crew of the space station. One of the main objectives of the Delta mission is to get them back to Earth, after flying the new Expedition 9 crew to the ISS. Gennady Padalka and Mike Fink will therefore stay in the ISS for the next six months. Andrei Kuipers is returning to Earth on the 30th of April, together with Cagliari and Fole, who will finish their six-month expedition mission. Apart from the crew rotation, the 11-day Delta mission has three other main objectives. One of them is the replacement of the Soyuz, the space station's lifeboat, which has to be changed every six months. André Kuipers is traveling to the ISS on a Soyuz TMA-4, but will be returning in the TMA-3, which has been brought to the station by Fole and Cagliari six months ago. The third important part of the mission is the batch of scientific experiments Kuipers has to conduct during his stay in space. They range from biology and physiology experiments to Earth observation. Even during the two-day journey to the ISS, André Kuipers will already start some of the cubic experiments inside the Soyuz. Finally, the Delta mission has a significant educational component. Another educational uh, experiment is seats in space. I like that very much. What, what, is, what I did in, uh, in Holland is that I sent every school, every school, as, as uh, a package um, with seeds of um, lettuce, and it's called uh, rocket lettuce, it's uh, rucola, so it's, the, the name is very nice. It's built in some kind of rocket uh, with two chambers, and uh, one will get light and the other one will stay in the dark, and the schools will start, uh, they, they will put water in these containers together with me in space, so during a few days, all the schools will develop the same, the same uh, seeds as I will do in space. So that brings the, the kids very close in contact with experimenting and with, with space flight. Another educational project is Video Tree. It helps children understand how living in space affects the human body. Belgian and Spanish ESA astronaut Frank de Winne and Pedro Duque also worked on educational video projects during their own trips to the ISS. Nice. The results are made available on DVDs to secondary schools across all ESA member states. It's a very busy program, but André Kuipers will no doubt take some time off to gaze out of the windows of the ISS. I have to be careful. My colleagues warned me that I have to set time apart for that. Because you have the tendency to just work, 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 because you're, you're trained all the time, you have to do your experiments and you know what's behind it and uh, you, you want to do a good job. And several astronauts said, if you're not careful, you come back and you think, oh yeah, I was in space, but you didn't experience it yet because you were working all the time. So it's important that you, that also for the experiments themselves, because if people get overworked, they start to make mistakes. That there is time built in for the astronauts uh, to cool down and relax and be social with your colleagues, experience where you are and of course look out of the window because if you're not careful you are the last day and think ah I didn't look out of the window yet.
During the last days before departure, the crew has been performing some ceremonial acts, like signing the guestbook in the Gagarin room of Star City's museum. But this is also the time for more relaxing activities, like a family trip to Moscow. Near the Red Square at the Kremlin Wall, the Delta crew placed, like all astronauts before they leave to the launch pad in Baikonur, a flower on the memorial signs of the great Russian cosmonauts of the past, like Yuri Gagarin. Soon they will follow in his footsteps and venture into space themselves, some 43 years after the spaceflight pioneer.